we're here in Lekki and I want to show you one of the new initiatives um, that We Cyclers has just rolled out and it was spearheaded by my brother Wale. Wale! So this is my brother Wale. He's the new CEO of We Cyclers and he's been doing a good job. <laughs> Years after starting and running her recycling company, Felikis decided to hand off control of the day-to-day -day operations. I got a call from the governor of Lagos State. You know, he offered a, me a position to run the Lagos State Parks and Gardens Agency as general manager because I'm able to serve Lagos and uh, help to fix our you know, climate change issues. Felikis is still the majority owner and remains involved. So I help, you know, recyclers, I give advice, I give support, and anything I can do, I'm, you know, I'm always there. You are cousins or sister, brother? Cousins. We have a very good relationship, you know, we've, we've been very close from childhood. Um, there was a time when I had very short hair and they thought, somebody thought that we were twins because we were the same size. So we were very close and I trust him. And I, I know that uh, he actually wants me to succeed. And you know, when you have that kind of person that's running your company, it's like, like you can't have it better than that. <laughs> I mean, I've been with WeCyclers for about two and a half years. What really drew me and, and really made me decide to stay with WeCyclers and work full time was seeing some of the workers, so the, the sorting ladies that, that would be working, you know, they work for you know, relatively low wages, but were able to be committed to their job and really be dedicated. And I felt committed to actually being part of that initiative. With an engineering background, Wale has come up with new ways to more efficiently collect trash. We came up with an idea to actually start putting in kiosk locations at various areas whereby people can actually bring the volumes to us, so more inbound volumes. And part of that expansion is also investing in a compaction vehicle like we see. It's like a conventional garbage truck, but we actually use them to compact plastic bottles and aluminum cans to really compress them enough so that we can transport them more effectively. Even with new investments, they still have to navigate issues beyond their control, like bad roads. Yeah. Yeah. I wish it happened less often, but from time to time they have some logistical issues. I think here in this case there was some sand where the driver parked in there and didn't realize it could, it, it could sink. But from time to time you do have logistical issues and you have to find a way to sort them out. So by either finding a proper towing mechanism or, or getting the team together to try to get it on, on stock. <laughs> The brother and sister tandem has worked well, so much so that We Cyclers was invited to Brussels for a very special honor. So we're here to receive the King Badwan Foundation uh, Africa Development Prize. Um, they award it once every two years, and uh, We Cyclers is the, uh, the winner for 2019. And so that means that we're going to be given the prize by the, His Royal Majesty the King and the Queen of Belgium. And we always talk about how there are a lot of challenges working where we work and in the field that we work in. Um, so when you have things of this type of nature, recognition, it makes you feel happy and also energized. And we are delighted that representatives of the Nigerian organization We Cyclers are present here to receive the King Boudoir African Development Prize 2018-2019. Actually, we got uh, more than 400 candidacies uh, nominated by all sorts of uh, actors in Africa. And so we have a selection committee which looks at all these uh, candidates and uh, whittles it down gradually. And then we actually go on the ground and look at the various projects. And in the end, we cyclers won. And uh, we, we think it is a very deserving winner. It is a very innovative approach to, which takes a, a challenge, uh, in some cases even a crisis of waste management in many large cities and turns it into an economic opportunity through a very innovative business model. The winners have established a very inspiring approach that combines tackling major environmental issues with entrepreneurship. Young leaders like those behind WeCyclers are realizing Africa's promise and showing that Africa's transformation can become a reality and inspire the rest of the world. The award doesn't just earn them a seat next to royalty. 
they'll get a cash prize of more than $225,000 to invest in the company. There were many months you know, where we couldn't pay salaries on time. You know, I remember being scared to go to the office because there was no money. But we're very, very lucky because the staff, you know, regardless, they, they would still come to work. And they would still work because they believed in what we were doing. We at Recycle we're going to use those funds to expand and invest in more trucks, more um, hubs. So we're going to be able to spend money on important things that would make us a better company um, and, you know, make ourselves more attractive, attractive to investors. But King Baduan Foundation is actually helping us to go to the next level. We are also trying to put together a, you know, a plastic coalition. It's called Fair Plastic Alliance. Um, we set as one of our partners, Serioplast. And we're going to take that all over the world and get people to join us together to build a network of collectors and um, recyclers that are, um, that are passionate about solving this plastic problem. And you know, hopefully we can build a worldwide network that people can, can feel comf comf comfortable about supporting. Bikis believes the impact of recyclers will lead to even greater honors someday. We are proud, we are happy. We hope this is going to be the beginning of many, many great things for recyclers. Hopefully we'll also get a, a Nobel Prize. <laughs> hopefully. Thank you so much. many other people trying to make an impact like recyclers, but with far fewer resources. Next, we'll introduce you to a duo in Liberia who are literally building their recycling project one brick at a time.